I have two dozen seed packets here. These are the plants that I typically grow in my garden, and they're probably the same plants that you typically grow in your garden. And all of these seeds are going directly into the soil. Join me today as I discuss the crops to direct sow. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and let's begin by talking about direct sowing. Almost all of the plants we grow in our gardens find their way into the ground with one of two methods. The first being transplanting, and there are a number of plants that we buy or start from seed indoors and then transplant into the garden. It's tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and anything that you buy from the nursery. But for so many of the plants that we grow, it is easier and cheaper and, in many cases, best for the plant to put them in the ground as a seed. We are directly sowing that seed into our garden soil. I use 10 basic categories for the food crops. Regardless of the dozens and dozens of plant types we grow, I think they can fit into one of these 10 categories when deciding which seeds are best to sow directly in the garden. And for some of them, the reason for direct sowing is because they just grow so quickly that we really don't need a head start indoors and putting a transplant in the ground. For others, they just don't transplant well. Once the roots get established, they don't like being disturbed. And for others still, if we transplant them, we can affect the harvest that we get. And I'll be covering all of that with the 10 categories. The first being beans. Beans, whether bush beans or pole beans, will do better when directly sown. They grow so quickly that you really don't gain anything by trying to start them indoors a little early. If you're ever wondering whether a seed should go outdoors or should be started indoors, go ahead and read the seed packet with these provider beans from Survival Garden Seeds. In the instructions, it specifically says, plant beans directly outdoors once the soil has warmed to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The next crop to directly sow is corn. Whether popcorn or sweet corn, I think it does better if you just put the seed into your garden bed. You can start plants like this three to four weeks early indoors and then transplant after all dangers of frost have passed and after the soil has warmed up. But this does present another issue. During transplanting, we're typically going to damage some of the roots of the plant. The plant's going to be stressed, and it will take a while for the plant to recover. Well, corn is one of those plants that will take a while to recover from transplanting. That transplant shock does have an effect on the plant. And we're also typically growing blocks of corn, dozens of plants, like in a big area I have here in front of my greenhouse. Rather than trying to grow lots of little pots of corn and then transplanting all of those and maybe having some transplant shock, go ahead and just put the seed into the ground. Cucumbers are the third crop that I direct sow. Now, again, the instructions say that I can start them indoors four to six weeks early, but it specifically says Take care to not disturb roots when transplanting outside. They don't like to be transplanted. And most of our transplanting is going to damage the roots. They grow quickly enough and they do well enough that I like to start them from seed. I like to have my trellis ready to go so that I don't run the risk of damaging the plants after they're growing and putting a trellis up. So, in this bed where I'll be growing cucumbers this year, the trellis is ready to go, the soil is ready to go, and I'll put these seeds directly in the ground. The next crop to direct sow is herbs. Now I'm talking about 
annual herbs, the kind of herbs that you're going to start from seed and then harvest by the end of the season. In this herb bed, I've got my perennial herbs. I've got the tarragon, the sage. I've got some thyme over there. I've got some rosemary growing. But for these type of plants like cilantro and dill and chervil and sorrel, I start these from seed along with all of the other plants. These can be great companion plants. They'll fill the space in between some of the plants in my other beds, like the peppers and the cucumbers. I'll ring the bed with these type of herbs. So when I'm harvesting those fruits later in the season, I can grab a pinch of herbs at the same time. The next crop to directly sow, are leafy greens and there are a whole bunch of plants that fall into this category romaine lettuces butter crunch lettuces kale spinach these are the plants that i directly sow now yes many of these you can start indoors early but they grow so quickly i don't see much advantage to that and you can get them in the ground very early i've already got these little plants coming up these leafy greens are in this bed and i started the seeds when my nights were still getting down near freezing they can handle cold weather and they can grow quickly enough that i can get a harvest and then put more seeds in for a second third maybe even fourth harvest during the growing season they're great for succession planting melons are a crop that should be directly sown if you read the seed packet Instructions won't even mention starting them indoors ahead of time. It's all about direct sowing when the soil has warmed up. Many of us have difficulty growing melons because we have a short growing season. The solution to that is not starting them indoors and running into the risk of transplant shock. Instead, is trying to choose a variety that doesn't take as long to grow and reach harvest. These are some of the beds that I usually grow my melons in, directly sown from seed. There are a couple ways to save money in your garden by direct sowing. First, seeds cost less than plants. You can get an entire seed packet with a whole bunch of seeds, often for less than the cost of a single plant. And look at this list. Look at these plants I'm talking about. If you normally go to your garden center or nursery and buy these plants as little seedlings for transplant. Recognize now that you don't need to do that. You can go to the same garden center or nursery at the same time of year, and instead of getting a plant, just pick up a packet of seeds instead. And the next plant on our list is peas. If you read the instructions on the seed packet, it specifically says plant directly outside in well-worked soil. This is another one of those plants that can go in the ground very early. It can handle cold weather. So in this bed of leafy greens, I've got some pea plants at the end that are just starting to come up. This is also a plant you can put in the garden late in the season for a fall harvest because as the temperatures are cooling later in the year, you can still grow and still harvest your peas. The next set of plants for direct sowing are root crops. And there are a whole bunch of plants that fall into this category. It's the radish and the carrot and the turnip and the beets. If you attempt to transplant these and damage the roots in any way, you're not going to get the harvest you're looking for. If you want that nice, long, straight parsnip or carrot, you've got to start it from seed and let that root grow undisturbed and raised beds are ideal for growing root crops you can put in a nice light fluffy nutrient rich soil and get those wonderful root crops that you're looking to harvest another crop with a whole bunch of plants in the same category is squash squash of all different types like this pumpkin or the winter squash like a spaghetti or a butternut squash or a summer squash like zucchini and you can start them indoors but as this packet says maybe start it indoors three to four weeks early if the growing season is short but is best direct sown so if you can find a variety that matches your season sowing them directly into the ground is the best way to do it from my experience 
and from the directions on the package. If you're benefiting from this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up below to show me and YouTube that you appreciate it. Number 10 on our list of crops to direct sow is Swiss chard. Now, I don't include this in the leafy greens category because it does take longer to grow before it reaches the point of harvest. It does like warmer soil for germination, and you can start it indoors ahead of time. But my season, even though it's short, is long enough for a lot of harvests of Swiss chard. As soon as it's about eight inches tall, you can start harvesting it, and it will continue to grow and continue to give you more harvest well into the fall. Even after it's exposed to frost and freeze, it's going to keep growing and keep producing those leaves for you to harvest. So I'm not in a rush to get this going. I'll put it in my garden beds where it fits by direct sowing, and then just sit back and wait for those harvests to come. All of these seeds are easier to direct sow than to buy and transplant or grow indoors and then transplant, so give them a try. And if it's different than the way you've done it in the past, go ahead and try something new. If you want to see more about growing the vegetable crops in your garden, watch this video next. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. <laughs>